we go, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully, all the players thank the bus driver for working tirelessly, but now we are hopping into game number two on the North American scene. I don't really thank the bus driver. To be what? I don't. I, I always forget. All right. It's not a big deal, right? Look, I'm just saying. If someone's working tirelessly, you just want to give them a thank. Look at all those thank yous. Space Lion did it. Must I be. Mean, he's dropping them to their death, so, like, <laughs> I don't know if I should be thanking him. Uh, all right. I'll give you that. That's fair. Okay. But here we go. Seeing out the new bus. It's a low bus as far as the map goes, so players are going to have to go a little longer, stretch a little farther to get to that north half. Now, what I'm curious of, we kind of saw a little bit in, in Europe, was some players, some duo specifically, swapped up their, their landings. Yeah. So we'll have to see if that de how that develops over the course of NA. We're looking Tilted Towers. So I, my first question would be, those duos on top of Floating Island, is that Nick Merckx? Is may, that Aiden? It might be. I think they may be, they're going out. They're going after each other. Think and they so? decided to, to pick a more neutral ground because Tilted seemed to be Aiden's like favorite location. Yeah. Um, one thing I want to mention is <laughs> they, they are actually here. And Hysteria is very weak right now underneath. Or he's on top. I can't That's, see where Hysteria is. Uh, let's take a look. So I believe, yeah, he's just on the other side down yeah, a little lift there. Yeah, he's popping a med kit. He should be able to get the heal oh. off. But they're putting Aiden pressure on Nick Merckx. Aiden is very weak. Hysteria can't They have not really thirsted help. Nick Merckx yet, and they just did. Hysteria might be able to clutch this if he hits Aiden first. But they send, they sent Ambrew initially. He did take him out, so that was well played on Hysteria. One for one, all right? So one for one. Nick Merckx took out Aiden the first time. Now Aiden's going to bounce back a little bit. And I think I think these guys are just going to land here for the rest of the tournament. One thing I want to mention really quickly that we haven't talked about is the battle bus is actually moving 25% faster. Oh. So these late game drops, they're not as bad because you'll get there quicker. Yep. So by the time you touch down, uh, you won't be as behind compared to people who jump off right in the beginning. It's a good change. I think a lot of people like that. Lush Factory. I've never Ooh. landed here before. Really? I mean, I've, I've, I've only landed here maybe for a challenge. Okay. Yeah, Flush Factory is pretty good. Loot's pretty solid. Uh, it is on the corner of the map there, but Aspect and Zate have landed here as well. They're going to control challenge. the high ground. He now has the low ground, and he took a oh, lot man. of damage. They very quickly respond. Say, yes. Nick, stop it. Nick 30s partner, Bewitching Gamer, needs to come in and help him out because he just got knocked. Will he be able to capitalize? No. Nope. Now it's a 2v1 situation. And what's probably going to happen is they're going to play it smart. Zay is going to protect Aspect as he banishes. There's no reason to rush the situation. Bewitching Gamer seems to be staying. Uh, Zay and Aspect are two insanely good players. And they're going to be very calculated about this. Even though it's a 2v1, they're playing very safe and they're attacking him from different sides. Man. Getting some hits on him. He has no more materials left. And that's an easy wow. cleanup. Wow. Dude, just the way that they ri Oof. Oh, that's oh, rough. That's Disrespect. Minus uh, three points <laughs> for Aspect and Zay. <laughs> Uh, that's tough, man. I love the way that they kind of diverted his attention two different ways. They, they, he just didn't know where to aim. They just caught him off guard doing different things. Really well played there. They respected the opponent up until they knocked him. They, they had <laughs> and then they... Whoa! Oh. So close! Kenneth hit some really good shots with the pump, but it just wasn't enough. He nearly... Out of here. Let's take a look at some replays, though. Zexro and Rio. Great they shots. Precision, man. That silent epic assault rifle is so good at that range. You just got to tap ranger. fire, and now you turn into a 1v1. We yeah, saw that happen multiple times in the previous competitions, and it can happen again here. But he's trying to boogie, boogie bomb. He gets boogie it. Oh, he, he boogies boogies himself. himself. He's trying to run. It's too late. To Reverse knows he's there. Not, I guarantee not. you, Weeds was yelling on the mic. We're both <laughs> boogied. Hurry up. <laughs> Take him out. And it was a it good is. attempt. Uh, Reverse was far enough away that if that boogie did not connect with him, he could have potentially gotten a clean headshot on Wheats and turned it into a 1v1. He didn't have a lot of health, so it probably wouldn't have gone his way, but he might have been able to secure an limb if he thirsted him. Richard and his partner. Back in Salty Springs. Horrify in a tough spot. He's 2v2 pinched. situation. What can he do here? He's just... That's a chiller that just went down. down. Flick. Taken out, horrify, and People now are slipping and sliding. TVs and go down 
two. He oh. just got hit with oh no, the, the ice trap. He's trying to stop himself. Okay, he's like he's trying to that. He might not get spent. Okay, I was gonna say if he moved too much. If he's continued to slide, yeah, yeah. They, okay, so they have enough bandages and they have a campfire and oh. they have a lot of loot. That's very close. That would have been really fun. I'm not gonna lie. But taking a look at this Mar uh, Margasi in one shot girl replay. They find Clarify and Tilted Towers. Now keep in mind, One Shot Girl is down, so Margasi is fighting and by he has, himself. He has no materials, and he's in Tilted, which you're not going to get a lot of materials out of Tilted. Poach and Vivid against King Richard and the General. But let's not forget that Cease and his partner are still rotating from the storm, and they're rotating right into this fight. Vivid is looking for the long range pump shot to try to take some damage off. He oh. has four shots in the quad launcher. He's going to try to take maybe take the high ground or look for a different angle to use this gun. People who are rotating into the circle, and they're being bu built up on by Aragon and Vsox from Luminosity. I mean, they've got that quad launch. They oh, can make we have not it. notice! It's not enough! Vsox is going to take Vivid down, and now it's a 1v2. He's got the, quad. He's got the shockwave. He's going to burn that now. He might use it. He might use it to catch him. Poach he goes running. straight up and back down. He's gonna. He probably might use it again. While while Aiden pushes him, he's probably gonna use it again. Aiden responds with the build though. Where did Aiden come from? I have no idea, but they are here and they're ready to play. Aiden and his partner are now in the mix as well, and there's another team rotating away from them <laughs> down they, be, down beneath. They saw that and they were like, "Nah, we're good." But B Sox, he's still down low. He caught Vivid off guard, he, or was that Poach? Yeah, this is that's Poach up top. So yeah, he caught Vivid off guard. It's gonna be a wasted game if he goes down without really getting anything on the board. Yeah, he opts to make the long rotation there away from those players. Phase Yellow and HD just down below. Now he does have a little bit of an angle, like you're saying. He'd use that grenade there launcher. There we go. The grenade One, launcher's coming in. Two. They're rotating away. Now they're getting shot in the back, and he's still throwing grenade launchers at them. Now they're getting pinched with grenade launchers and stink bombs. High Distortion is not very happy right now with oh. this. Oh, man. Myth is still trying to bounce those grenades. He knows think. now. Myth at least knows that he has some He has some, some help. <gasps> he's even firing at Thweepo. <laughs> he's firing at the help. But he's like, look, all right. Finally, we see some teams putting some numbers on the board. Four limbs for Knights, Zexro, and Creo. And four limbs from Margaus himself. Three from Date Quan and oh, his partner man. Knox the Fox. And this is all entering the late game. So we definitely have seen an increase in the amount of the limbs uh, from the NA teams. That's great to see. Now we start moving in to the last few circles of the game. Still 61 players, man. A lot of players, a lot of things can happen. Ghost Aiden finds an elimination there. Joseph is cute, is down right down there. Let's take a look at some of these replays. This was Margasi's fourth elimination. Just sneaking through with the double barrel. Finds it. Two clean go. shots, and that's going to be the effective range of the double barrel. you got to be right in front of your opponent to make it work. If you're, yeah. if you're even one step away, if he can locate where they are exactly. The stink bomb is going to force them to move, and, I, and he, he's probably hoping that they either drop or start building in a way where they could potentially take the high gun from them. Because I know they want to take it. They, they definitely want to utilize uh, TFU Sniper. I think he saw some of the tracers, so he knows roughly where they are. And now he's just going to, like you're saying, look down below, see what there is to see. I mean, and that's the thing, man, is Tifu likes to build spaceships. So you got like the two, two by one with the, the roof corner pieces at the top yeah. and bottom. He's on low ground. He can't really do that right now. Space line and replays putting some pressure on this opponent. Nearly has him down. I'm pretty sure he just lost, lost to, to the, the storm. storm. Liquid Poach goes down, and they're going to miss that elimination, which would have put them one step closer to getting that second point. They have four right now. That is so unfortunate. To the storm. Stole their kill. Replays is kind of healthy, has extra minis. There's a lot of potential here. Somebody could pop off. Aragon goes down. More Gauss with five limbs on his own. The champion of PAX West coming out. Oh, the grenade launcher. Nearly oh. taking him out. 
He's panicking a little bit. He needs to get out of here. The storm is going to eat him alive if he doesn't. Oh, it might be too late. No way. Did he? 3 HP. Can 3 HP. Still do this? He needs to go. You can do this. Grappler, oh. no. This is so close. I feel so bad. He needed one more limb to secure that second point. That grenade launcher just ruined his day. And now people are trying to transition into, you know, if they don't have the limbs, they might. Be oh, not like not this. The not like fuss. this. Made a very fatal mistake. Him and his partner, Daquan, going down. Monster has gone down as well. Ninja should be able to save him here if he doesn't get pressured. They have three limbs. Currently, the team with the most limbs that are still alive is uh, Knight Sexro and his partner, LG Creo. Four limbs each. Daquan and his partner had five before they went down. Ninja putting some pressure, has barely any health left. Monster is oh, down! Once. It's Goes for the enough. 1v2, but it just was not enough. Nate Hill and Symphony, though, they're still alive. You can see it doing this down below. Low on materials, but still healthy. Oh, man. Has to make a rotation. I think Nate Hill is going to be looking for some limbs. Real. Five limbs. Oh, my gosh. From yeah. Matsuri on Creo. And that's oh. going to be it. Two teams go down with five limbs each. Oh, Look at this they surprised team. someone. It's Bay Soldier. They are so coordinated. Oh, they're looking for more. They might pop off here if they play this right. Now, now Nate Hill's looking at 550 wood. Right around the corner. Crack Great one. shot. Storm is closing in. He needs to keep moving. All right, they are in the circle now. Okay, you got to watch out for these guys. Dude, look how they're moving in tandem. They, they are fast and they're accurate. And they seem to be playing extremely tight. They both are so healthy because they're positioning is so well together right now. They're they're not leaving each other's side. They're shooting these same opponents, and they're just so so coordinated with the builds. They only have three limbs uh, right now, but trust me, they're gonna get a lot more. That's another. Tifu is still alive. I he won't be surprised if these guys come out of here with eight or more limbs. I, Tifu was lost in the storm. I wonder how many limbs they had before going down. They had one limb, unfortunately. They were playing it a little too safe. Someone is in their box. They're both shooting them together. Five. Is that is that their sixth limb or their fifth? That's their fifth. Fifth limb. Yo, you do not want to get in front of Symphony and Nate Hill. These guys are a double teaming machine. Scatch goes down there. The song. He's got the rocket launch. He's gonna try. To, he might try to drop somebody down with the rocket, and then and then Nate Hill's gonna finish them off. Look. They do have a campfire. They do have a med kit. They can go for the heal off if they choose to do so, and I think they will eventually. But right now, it looks like they're looking to secure their sixth limb before going for that. They've, they're ready for the heal off. You see, they've got the... One of them will heal, and the other one's going to go look for the sixth limb. Some Nate Hill will stay back. There's so much happening. 72 hours knock someone. You know what? They might just go They might just go for the, uh, for the limb, and I think Nate Hill might have accidentally put the campfire down a little bit too early and out of the way. He's not going to be able to even he needs to start utilize right the campfire. It's a bit of a misplay there. And uh, they, they might just be going for the win. So uh, Symphony is going to just stay here and he's going to keep turbo building up top to make sure that nobody comes in. Um, there we go. They got the heal off. Now they're going to try to go for their six of limbs. Somebody just went down. Was that for their trap? Yeah. Uh, no, it was not. It was not, unfortunately. Players being knocked out by the storm. Nate Hill by himself. Is it enough? Takes the win. Victory Real and five eliminations for Nate Hill and Symphony. Those guys were playing so well together, moving so close, both calling out targets, both shooting the same target at the same time. Where the teams are coming out of match number two. So with that, Nate Hill and Symphony, they're tied with Liquid, 72 hours, and Chap. That Victory Real helps them edge them out. So now they're in first. Now keep in mind, 72, Chap, they're right behind them tied. Tempo and Jomok in third, Tuifo, Colton in fourth, and Spaceline in replays coming in in that fifth spot. Also keep in mind, it's only the top 10 duos that place in the money. So Science TV and Clarify, they're just pushing out Triz and Vape Jesus. And for just four spot. points for first place, that's really not a lot. So don't even be surprised if like the people who are in first, second, third right now even fall out of the money potentially by the end of this. Yeah. You can get a lot of points if you go for those elims.